Okay, first winter in Alaska, and I am trying out speed skates today. Definitely taking a little bit to get the hang of. I started with regular figure skating just because I like to do the jumps, have fun with kids and such. Um, but I saw there were speed skates that were on um, a large lake here in Alaska. And I said, oh wow, I wanna try that. So, so far my initial reaction is there is incredible speed without me doing much work at all. As you can see, the blades are much longer. A little bit harder to get into from what I have found, considering that the blades start at 200, 250, and you don't know exactly what you're looking for, etc. So this is just a fun introduction to figure out some of the differences. Some of the other observations is that initially, I don't have that tough pit in the front. So when I'm figure skating, sometimes that will just knock me right on my butt. So it's really nice to not have that. It's creating a lot of speed without much work at all. As you can see, the blade is... But if you're looking for speed, just like anything else, cross country or downhill you got to have the right equipment so it's a great intro something else that's fun that i just learned about alaska is that they really maintain certain ponds for ice skating so for hockey players they come here and you can just do a continual loop all the way around this is called the westchester lagoon and it's a really awesome spot here it's great for kids I took my son out and we did some ice hockey for the first time, which was a blast. And of course, figure skating with my daughter. So we're doing everything ice skating. Woo! I'm hardly needing to move my feet. With these large blades, they're really doing most of the work. And I'm just gliding. So this is a really fun sport. All right, let's turn this guy around see how turning is. Turning is a little harder, but it's not too bad. Here, I'll, I'll show you. You can see a little bit. Definitely have taken some more work to turn, but it's not impossible. There's some speed skates that go literally unattached and reattach. I'm sure those are a lot harder because those are for really just going straight. I am already going faster than I ever have before. And I'm not even going. My kids are getting tired because I keep going around so fast. So, as you can see, I'm just going in a complete circle over and over again with a lot less effort. So, I love speed. So, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try this out. Oh, you having trouble catching up? Help me. <laughs> A little hard with those figure skates, huh? Very nice. But definitely for speed, these guys are the way. All right, so we have figure skates, speed skates, hot skates. We're just going to go at a gradual pace up here. I kind of see some of the differences. So, here we got our hockey. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. And I'm trying not to speed. I'm trying to go slow, but it's just flying. So, we talked about the um, <laughs> turns are hard, but definitely getting up and moving. Oh, definitely harder just because. The sure fact of moving them. Uh, stopping is harder, so you just have to be a more advanced skater um, and then you're ready for the next step. Last item to address is overall comfort level. Now I haven't tried on hockey skates, but I do know from figure skates that they are tight and come up really high like a boot, 
for as the speed skates, a lot of them are more shoe just like this. So because of that, these are just more comfortable. But then again, you're doing more technical jumping and things like that for both really ice hockey and figure skating. So that is another pro for me with speed skates. The guards for speed skates are definitely a little different, but depending upon if you have a square or more rounded front, one of the reasons I wanted a more rounded is with being here on the lake, I could break through ice if I needed to. Uh, so that's why I chose that. Um, and I do think that the square ones are more for when you're in ice rinks, but either way, pretty nice uh, guards.